what you want to make sure is that you have voltage on the EEPROM. If you don't have any voltage on the EEPROM, uh, changing, this, changing the EEPROM is not going to do you any good because, um, first of all, uh, it's not even getting voltage to it. So, you know, it's something else, it's something else wrong beforehand in the, in the circuit uh, before, you, before it gets to the EEPROM. So we just double check it here. It's pin one, pin two, there's nothing. Three, nothing. Four, as you, as you can see, my meter says millivolts, okay? So there's no voltage going to it. You say about 3.3 about volts, so 3.2 volts going through at least about one or two of these pins to the EEPROM. Okay, there's nothing there. So there's absolutely nothing going to the EEPROM. So changing it wasn't going to do any good. So, um, actually, I tried to. Um, it's regular here. I try to trace the uh, pin four, the in and out. The, I'm sorry, the on off uh, to turn the mo actual MOSFET on. I try to trace it back and trace and uh, check a lot of components on here, all the way down to the micro, which I actually opened up. And I try to trace the. Um, you know, just try to trace it like this here. Put your meter on uh, continuity. And pin four. I try to. Trace it back and see if I got a, a short reading to a component that was, you know. I couldn't find anything specific. Um, so what I just did after I changed the little regulator here and I figured out that I wasn't getting the on off, the power on off uh, to tr actually turn the little regulator chip on. And I couldn't trace it back to anything. Um, Actually, it's probably going to the microprocessor. I can't read all the pins on it, so it's probably going right that that, that um, on off or engage pin pin four. It's probably going straight to the microprocessor or one of or one of these chips uh, down here. I can't, I can't read the pins on. I can't test the pins on it. So either way, I was going to try to change either one of those ICs right here, this one or this one. So I just went ahead and replaced the main board on it, uh, the entire main board. But the reason I made this video is to show you that. These are regulator ICs. Um, are a very common problem on main boards. Um, a lot of times, if you look at it, if you, if you know you got a main board problem, and there's a hole, there'll, there'll be actual holes in them, and sometimes the pins are really short. Uh, in that case, that you know you have a bad uh, regulator IC. And another thing too. See if I can zoom out here. Remember, we went to the keypad. Okay, first of all, we we had a dead set, right? Um, we went to the keypad to make sure there was voltage on it. Okay, and we'll just go down here for the key. Oh, I'm sorry, the keypad. That's that's well, actually. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, that's where the keypad. That's the plug the keypad is going to. It's going right to the main board. Usually, if we don't have any voltage on either one of those pins. Uh, remember before we did, we had like well, we had like two volts on the keypad, and it was changing. On any keypad, the uh, first thing that you have to remember is that you always have to have a a standby voltage going to it, whether it's three point three or five volts. And then uh, one of the other voltages, uh, the one of the other pins should there should be a change in voltage when you hit any one of the buttons, the power button or the uh, volume channel menu button. There should be a change in voltage. Because basically that's the little change in voltage was, was telling the uh, microprocessor to change the channel or, you know, turn the volume up or whatever. But if you don't have any voltage on, on either one of those pins, going, that's actually going, this, uh, that button is actually going to the keypad to the remote sensor, that, that whole plug there. If you don't have any voltage on there at all, most likely, yes, you do have a bad regulator, I see. Okay. And that also, if you, if you get standby voltage coming in, but no voltage on neither one of these pins here. 5.2, 3.3, nothing. Then most likely one of these little regulator chips are bad. Okay. And like I said, I just showed you how to check it. Uh, make sure you got input and then uh, make sure you have a on off command and output. Okay. And we'll go ahead and change it just so I can show you what I mean here, okay? Okay, I just installed a brand new main board, and we're just gonna go over this and do a uh, check this uh, IC again and see what's going on with it. Okay, 
as you can see, I'm going to check first. I'm going to check and make sure we got the uh, five volts standby coming in, which we do. Okay, so that's pin six and pin seven, just like the uh, data sheet. Got that coming in. Uh, let's check the the, the LX or the voltage out pin, which is pin number two. Uh, nothing there. And then, uh, so we'll go to pin four. That was the switch. That was the on-off switch. Okay, as you can see, it's you know less than 0 0.1 volts. So we'll go ahead and hit the power on it. And boom, as you can see, that actually changed to almost 5 volts. Uh, and then now we got backlight, as you can see right there. Okay, so that did change. And we'll check the output pin, which is pin 2, LX. 1.2 volts, okay. Sounds about right. Feedback, um, not really necessary at this particular point because all you mainly want to check is make sure you have the on off and voltage out. So that seems to be, you know, just fine. There's nothing going on weird about that there. Um, so pretty much problem solved. Um, we'll go ahead and turn it back off. Okay, it sets off. Uh, it should go back to zero. Oh, I don't know what happened there. It wasn't the sense of the power button. Okay, back to zero. Set on. That comes on. The, the 4.8 volts come, comes up before even the back lights come on. So, that's pretty much how it works. Um, like I said, I'll always check those regulated chips on a, on a, on a dead set. Uh, set's not coming on, uh, and, you know it's the, and you know the problems on the main board. So, uh, with that in mind, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you on the other side, okay? Uh, another, one, another important thing that I want to stress out is also check uh, these ICs here. These, these are not these are also regulator ICs, which you can see. Uh, this tab is usually the output voltage. Okay, this is 3.3, and one of these two pins is ground, and then the other two is, uh, I'm sorry, the other one is the actual input, which, which should be higher than 3.3. So one of these should say 5 volts. Got 2.5 there. Okay, 5 volts. So this is actually an adjustable one. Uh, we got 2.5 volts here, and I'm sorry, two two volts there, five volts here. Okay, and the output is three volts. The middle pin is actually tied to the output pin, so we have to worry about that one. Uh, this one here, I got an output voltage of 1.2, so we should have about 3.3 going in. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I just want to keep in mind, I always check those. Uh, those are really very likely to go out in short, also on main boards, and also those small 8-pin uh, uh, low-voltage uh, DC to DC uh, regulators. Okay? All right, thanks for watching. We'll see you.